How's it going guys? Angus here from Maker's Muse. So, to sometimes you want to print lots and lots of bits on your printer and aligning and arranging those parts can be a real pain sometimes. So what I'm going to be showing you today is a really cool tool in Mesh Mixer called the Layout and Packing Tool where you can do all this automatically. That's coming up. So what I have here in Mesh Mixer is lots and lots of little bits that I want to print. So these are all parts of my Mr. Clicky robot design that I did a couple of years ago. And as you can see, there is heaps and heaps of bits. And they're all sort of floating in space and not so good use for anyone. So I could go to my printer and align each of these myself, or I could use the printer's auto alignment tool. But often with the slicing engines, the auto align and auto arranging tools, they're not that great. They often um, will leave lots of gaps because they go off a bounding box and they won't rotate, rotate the parts. But the tool in Mesh Mixer, under analysis, called the Layout and Packing tool, is actually quite powerful. So, just before I click it, you see this plane here? This is your sort of, um, your Z plane. This is what everything will align down to. So, before you do the aligning, you want to make sure that things are in the orientation you want to print them in. The software is not really smart enough to orient them uh, at the same time for best printability. But, so I've sort of rotated the head to be like this, and the body to be like that. That's sort of the best optimum printing orientation, and everything else is good. So I'll just go to Analysis, and Layout Packing, and let it do its work. So yeah, that's just the fastest mode, and already you can see it's packed them really tightly and really nicely. So that's pretty good. I mean, you can ramp it up to higher quality sort of layout algorithms, or just to move them and not rotate them. And a few other options for sort of square or circular layout. Let's go with square. So that's actually less efficient. So you play around with a bit. Uh, you can change your border width as well, so how much gap there is between parts. And let's accept that. And so I can go straight from this to my print software. And you're good to go. So if I had a MakerBot actually at home, I could just send it to MakerWare, but I don't use a MakerBot here, so I can just export to Clicky Parts Nested. And just dump that on the desktop. And that's good to go. So I can fire up the up software. And haha, yes, I will be talking about this in a future video. This is a hack for the up to let you print different temperatures. That's right. Anyway, I'll be talking about that shortly. But let's just open up the file I just saved. And demo STLs, Mr. Clicky, nested, combined. Da, da, da. And there it is. So, yeah, parts are all nested, one STL ready for you to print. Obviously, it's not going to fit on my Up Mini because my Up Mini is freaking tiny. But, yeah, so that's pretty much how to nest in Mesh Mixer. Super easy to do, one button, and it does all the hard work for you. So thanks for watching, guys. Only a quick video for today because I had to, like, clean the house for the inspection coming up because, you know, real estate agents are like that. But thanks for watching. really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you again soon here on Maker's Muse. Bye, guys.